What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon Masters video. We don't do too many of these, but I just want to say this game has turned a corner for me. Uh, very negative reviews, like right out of the gate. Actually, initially I was having a lot of fun, got boring really quickly, uh, but I think things are changing for the better. Uh, the game has become much more free to play friendly. There's there throwing gems at you like crazy. I love these legendary, whatever you call it, the, the Mewtwo and the Solgaleo events, uh, where you basically get them for free in the grinding. is can be a little bit much, but the devs are listening. They're constantly improving it. Uh, a lot of cool new features. So if you haven't played this game in a while, I definitely recommend you give it another chance. You know, I want to, it definitely has turned the corner. So today what we're going to be doing is pulling for either Lance or Cynthia. Um, I'm pretty sure I know which one, but we're going to take a look at some information before we make our decision. And let's go to, this is Game Press. And so, you know, there's not a lot of information. I go on Reddit and all I see are pictures, although they're all of Cynthia, so I'm assuming we're going to do Cynthia. But we'll take a quick look at whether we should pull Lance or Cynthia. And uh, so this is Game Press. They do articles. Um, they're pretty good. So Lance, we'll just go through the TLDRs. Uh, no, we should not pull it. He has a lot of attack. One of the highest, but I think the, the biggest negative is that Hyper Beam. Four gauge attack. And doesn't have 100% accuracy. So you wait, you wait, and you finally get that attack off, and then you miss. I guess there is some potential strats for this, but uh, you know we're probably not going to be using that. We're a very passive player, and I think that's ideal right now, or it's perfect. Where the game is at is actually perfect, where you know we'll just farm the events. We don't have to do 100%. We don't do all the very hard EX missions. That's okay. We don't even have very good gear, but it's just a lot of fun just to grind the events and rack up the gems, and eventually you could do some pulls, maybe for Dragon... I'm kind of disappointed this this uh, guy is not that good. I love Dragonite. I love Lance. You know, I'm a big, you know, uh, vintage card person, OG, uh, Dragonite, base set, Lance, Elite 4. Alright, let's take a look at Cynthia. This seems to be what everyone's pulling. And um, so one thing they do mention here is that she's limited. Uh, I didn't really see any indication that Lance was limited, which would be a good thing because I don't think we're going to pull for him. But uh, as if anything I say matters, why am I even making this article? Regardless, Cynthia is a limited unit, okay? Strongest AoE sync pair. AoE is kind of interesting. Obviously, they can wipe out multiple units, but at the same time, I feel like a lot of times you're better off just going for the problem. Like, there's an order of operations in where you want to take things out and you want to be as efficient as possible in doing that. So, while I, we're definitely going to go for Cynthia, you know, to be honest, I prefer single target damage versus AoE. Uh, but the best AoE, uh, limited sync pair, and pull banner is 10% up from 7. So, I'm um, I'm convinced that's all we're gonna go. That's all we're gonna all the research we're gonna do. We're going for Cynthia. Let's pull up the game. Let me switch this thing. Alright. Oops, I didn't mean to click you. Uh but yeah, they add a lot of stuff. They keep seeming to they're giving away a lot more items and stuff like that. This bingo thing is just like, here's three thousand gems, you didn't even have to do anything. Alright, let's see how many gems we have stocked for this. Forty six thousand um, I don't mind going too deep for Cynthia as it is a limited and yeah, there's not a lot of material to figure out like, alright, is this the best sync pair? But one, I don't think it matters and like, this is kind of weird to gauge it, way to gauge it, but you just scroll through Reddit and it's like, alright, everyone's using Cynthia, she must be really good. So let's go. Let's see if we can find out though if Lance is limited. Grimsley's still there. Uh, I need to go Hyper Beam. I see no way how to tell uh, this one is 10% as well okay uh, I see nothing that says oh wait or uh, nope okay but we're gonna go for Cynthia no matter what let's begin our first poll last video we did when we were pulling for the Santa Rosa um, you know we didn't get her we did get a couple five stars but ultimately I was kind of disappointed in our polls as far as the number of five stars we got. Uh, so hopefully, all right, we did get a rainbow. So I believe it's probably 2% for Cynthia, 10% overall, that which is great. 
Um, that's just another thing. I'm not sure if this can be a permanent thing, but uh, yeah, Pokemon Masters, just the game has improved significantly. Okay, we got Bugsy, Gardenia. I saw a picture on Reddit where someone was like complaining that they don't have Gardenia. I'm not sure what she's good for. Uh, to be honest, I don't really take this game that seriously. I don't really... I kind of just... Hey, look, this this thing is strong. Oh, what is this? I get the... Oh, Dustclops, nice! This is one I feel I see a lot of people using, was we're using in the Mewtwo event, so very happy with that. Although we're still looking for that chance. Yeah, we got three star power up. Uh, but yeah, I don't really finish, I don't do everything in the game. I kind of just farm the events. Uh, a lot of my stuff isn't even maxed out just because I don't spend enough time grinding. But uh, still, the game is fun. I think it's the pace I'm looking for. Wow, another five star, two five stars in a single pull. Now we're killing it. And all oh, this Reulicus. Uh, this, I believe it's a fairy type. I don't remember what kind of uh, sync pair it is, but two five stars. We didn't get Cynthia yet, but we got two five stars. We are stoked about that. But yeah, there's no need to go hard in this game. I basically just auto everything, and if that means I can't do the EX things, I have no issue with that whatsoever. Uh, I feel like this game has become very casual friendly, very free to play friendly. Two five stars, one pull. Like, seriously, you can't beat that. All right, let's keep going. We still want that Cynthia. Um, I feel like for now, let's, we'll try to set a limit of, all right, by the time we get down to 15,000, we're going to consider stopping at that point. Maybe when the banner gets close to going away. Oh my gosh, another rainbow. But if we keep up this luck, um, there's a good chance we'll go all the way until we get Cynthia. I don't really care about maxing out the sync move. So just one of them is fine. And... So, but yeah, back to kind of like how the game has significantly improved. Um, the Mewtwo event was really cool. I like how you just get it for free, uh, but it was super grindy. I didn't even finish everything, but I think the, you know, the dev team listened to the feedback and it seems like Sogaleo is much easier to max out. People were saying, I read it, they're already done. Um, and I feel like the first people to say that in, for the Mewtwo are like, oh my gosh, all right, you, you probably haven't been sleeping uh, for the past 48 hours, go get some sleep. But this one, you know, no one's that surprised. So I think it just means that the amount of grinding you need to do has been significantly reduced. Brace yourself, what is this? Oshawa, okay, all right. I considered pulling for Oshawa when we did uh, Hilda Tepig and um, we ended up holding off, but I believe Oshawa is pretty good, so pretty happy with that. Another 5 star, we still didn't get that Cynthia, but that's okay. Uh, one thing I do want to see that they do is that they do not reset these. This It sounds like a cool feature, but I feel like there's maybe 1% of the player base that actually is able to leverage it. So that is a change I would still like to see. Alright. Three five stars out of two pulls. We are doing so much better than compared to our last pull video. And I think we should have already seen some rainbows. So maybe we didn't get it. I don't pull enough to even recognize what's going on. All right, so it doesn't look like we did get it for this one, uh, but that's okay. We did get that double hit. So we're fine with that. And to be honest, 10 per, oh wait, 10% actually you get 10 pulls. So actually you should be averaging one per pull. So we're still on par. Voltorb, level five. Don't think any of this matters. I, whenever I farm something, I just do, hey, here's my five star attackers. And I just auto, even if I did want to use like supporters, I'm not sure if the auto AI is smart enough to use them correctly. So that means like, you know, I just farm the hard mission. I don't do the very hard. I might do the very hard just for the daily bonus, but then that's it. All right, let's keep going. All right, three, three, five stars, three pulls so far. No Cynthia, let's keep going. Again, hoping to save at least 15K. And once again, I feel like we we're supposed to already see a rainbow or something. So maybe this one is going to be another miss. I'm not sure if there are like fake out kind of things where you don't think you have it, but then boom, like sometimes the last pull is something you weren't expecting. One thing I was kind of, at first, I was, this guy was super useful in the last event. Uh, a lot of games was like, oh, you have a guaranteed like four star or something. I don't think this game does, but to be honest, I don't think it matters. Like everything, or I just use five stars at least. Arcanine, okay. Oh, and I said Marnie. I just said Marnie. I was like, wait, what? Marnie's in this already? 
All right, disappointing pull right there. Now we are behind uh, three five stars out of four pulls. All right, so this is going to be our fifth one. It's going to be 15,000 gems. But seriously, guys, if you guys haven't played this or you played the game, got really bored, and gave it up. All right, here we go. We got a rainbow. Hopefully, we get more than one. One thing this game doesn't do that other games do is they kind of like show via some kind of indicator like, oh, you have this many five stars. I don't think it's a problem, but I think I prefer that one way better. Versus you kind of click through, you have no idea how many five stars. All right, we're going to see who star shines the best. I have no idea. I love these little intro things though. Ah, uh, Zep Strike Guy. I believe this is the lightning version of Tepig, which was a big disappointment. Ponyta. But yeah, if you got bored of this game and then you put it down, uh, you know, I'm really glad I stuck it out, kind of just doing the daily missions and stuff like that. Uh, I did manage to stock up a lot of gems, but I highly recommend you give it another shot. Even if you kind of like, oh, well, I missed out on all these free pulls and stuff, like, that's okay. They're giving away a lot of gems right now. Sophocles. All right, so it looks like just one five star. At least we're pulling ones that we don't have. Again, like, I don't think the sync move is the most important thing to max out. I'd rather just pick up new sync pairs. So, all right, we're four or five, four or five stars out of five pulls. We're starting to get to the point where, all right, let's get that Cynthia because, yeah, hoping to save some gems for the future. I'm not even sure what the next big sync pair is. I feel like since the game release, everyone was just waiting for Cynthia. Um, I was really excited about Lance disappointing. He's not as good, not as good as I was expecting. Um, I feel like maybe the next big thing, maybe be red. That would be insane to pull for that Charizard. All right, so are we going to go... Four for six. Our ratio is becoming pretty bad at the moment. No. Yeah, it's under par for sure. No. <laughs> Over par. Makuhita. Alright, that was pretty bad. Okay, now we're going to need to clutch up. Get something good. Get a Cynthia. We'll count Cynthia as a double. Because that is the one that we want the most. That'll be the best way to Sage. Alright, we got the rainbow. Not crazy about this Porygon phone thing, though. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts in the comment down below of the, the game in the current state. Would you Do you feel like it has improved and are you giving a second chance? Or I'm happy to be friends with you. Who is this? Come on, come on. Ah, uh, grass. Oh, okay. Chikorita. I believe this is a good support. Alright, no dupes. I'm very happy we're not getting dupes. But I want that Cynthia. It's not the the most uh, concrete way to figure out what you want, but when everyone just has pictures of like their the co-op is just three Cynthias, that's actually a pretty good indicator. All right, so hopefully we can use just three more pulls and finish up our finish up this session. You do have to hoard, so free to play is obviously very doable, and we're killing it with the five stars. Um, so super free to play friendly, and definitely, actually, I don't do all the missions, so maybe it is necessary to do that to pull to buy gems, though, to complete all the missions. But I highly doubt it. All right, so another whiff. Kind of disappoint. Ten percent, ten pulls. Uh, so I believe that's our man. I actually lost count. Was it? Five, seven, five for eight at this point. Alright. So I'm not sure if there's like these fake out things. So we're still clicking through them. I would hate to just hit the skip, but then it's like, oh, by the way, Cynthia's here. Alright. Hoping to only use two more poles. We do that. We would have spent like 30,000 gems. I think we should have already seen the rainbow. Man. Let me know how your pulls are going. I feel like last time we posted a video, uh, we are going for Rosa, the holiday version. You know, compared to everyone else, well, our luck was pretty bad, and I'm starting to feel that again. Especially with the 10% rate. That is really high. All right.
Oof. All right, come on. Hoping this is the last one. I think we'll cut it here if we don't, and then towards the end of the banner, we'll see how many gems we have. I do think that, ooh, okay. Even though like the FOMO is really setting in and I don't wanna miss the banner, uh, I do think that there is no single character that you absolutely need to be successful in this game or to play even passively like I do. So I think this will be our last pull, but we did get a rainbow. Hopefully we got two. We start off hot with that double rainbow pull. Come on, come on. Let's, I, I like these intro things, I'm waiting for it. I'm not sure if they still do it if it's a dupe. Okay, Tate. Pelipper. All right, this must be it right here. Hit champion Pokemon League. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> we got her. Oh man, that was super clutch. Our last pull and we got Cynthia. There it is. I was thinking like, they mentioned the Pokemon League. It's like, oh my gosh, that could be Lance or Cynthia. But then I think they said that they were the champion. Cynthia is the champion. So here we go. There it is. This was an amazing pull session. And just like my last thought, of, or my uh, just to last words about this game is, you know, hoarding isn't that bad because, you know, we pulled, I don't even know how many five stars, even though our pulls weren't that, like, it took a while, we did get some misses, but we didn't hit any dupes, and that actually is, you know, almost kind of a reason to go to the free to play so that when you do pull, there are many gaps in your, uh, kind of like in your roster that you can still f uh, fill, again, like, I I very little interest in maxing out sync moves, so I'd rather just get a five star that I don't already have. And so, you know, that's just another reason why I'm really enjoying this game. And I definitely recommend you give it another shot if you quit or if you never played. Um, this game is becoming a lot more fun. Just don't take it too seriously. Don't, you know, definitely don't burn yourself out because I think it's very good for, you know, I log in every day and I kind of just, while I'm doing something, I'll click, all right, just go start the mission, autoplay everything. I think that's a perfect way to play this game. Um, and yeah, it's been an absolute blast. And we got Cynthia. We got so many five stars. Well, we got Cynthia, the one we were looking for on the last poll, nonetheless. So, all right, that's going to be it for me today. I think this video is actually quite longer than I was hoping. But uh, anyways, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below of uh, the current state of the game. I'm super positive at this point. And maybe that means we'll start pumping out some more Pokemon Masters content. Uh, start farming that Solgaleo. It's not, it's pretty easy. So, uh, as always guys, thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.